bring your lungs, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, drop your arms. That is the Rakshana Krama. Preparing your system, increasing the oxygen consumption in the cell. That is the first priority. So, anabolic activity increases the blood circulation, consumes the ATP, it paves the way for mitochondrial activity. It helps in consuming. So, whatever creatinine phosphate is there, whatever glycogen is there, in these eight rounds would consume because they would last only for only a 10 seconds on maximum of 20 seconds activities. That's why it helps in channelizing. Then your exercise truly becomes aerobic. There's a reason why we need to perform a little bit of Rakshana Krama, strength, resistance training. So if you stay more time in the post chain planks, means more resistance it is, means more resistance it is, more e-stretch, e-centric stretch. So more e-stretch it is, means more anabolic activity it is. There's a quickest way of gaining and a very good lean muscle. There's a quickest way of building your mitochondria. A bulk muscle to the lean muscle, lean muscle has three times more mitochondria compared to a bulk muscle called fast twitch muscle or type two muscle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and drop your arms, free your arms. Now we prepare, our, we go into 60 to 70 percent of building maximum heart rate, so that preparing for maximum heart rate. So this is a very powerful way of doing the Sushti Krama. So we do 12 rounds, then we do 10, 10 rounds, and then we do 8 rounds, then we do 6 rounds. And with a short interval or a long interval, depending on so how much you slow down, normalizing the pulse rate in between. So high intensive, high interval, high intensive, HITR. So high interval intensive training is what people call, that is the best way of training the heart. So now we'll be following the same, but high intensity means we're not touching 70 to 90 by doing this but we will touch 60 to 70 percent by doing this. So let us do it. So for you to get into this, first practice only 10 for about a couple of, for one week. Second week, so add another 10, 12, 10. Third week, add eight. Fourth week, you add another six. So at the end of the fourth week, you'll be able to do 12, 10, and eight, six. So that's the way your endurance increases 60 to 70 percent then your system is ready. Box breathing plus Shristi Krama, so Vinyasa, these two things will prepare you very well to touch your maximum heart rate. So in a week, minimum of 70 minutes, endurance is required for you to stay healthy. So if you are a, a yoga practitioner, understand, so 70 to 80 minutes in a week, you must do Shristi Krama. Many of the traditions, they don't even emphasize the importance of the Shristi Krama. It's very, very important. Shristi Krama means creating a new cells. So creating a new pathways. That's why Shristi Krama is not just uh, Krishna Macharya doesn't mean to, to be only any children. You should really understand. It doesn't mean it's a complicated posture. Scientifically, if you really understand, Shristi Krama means creating a new cell. So now, let us do it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lie down bit, no problems. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale. Two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, panchama, five, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, shut up, six, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Satam, seven. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Ashtam, eight. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. That's your mom time. Now mom, we finished. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. A kadasham, eleven. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Dwadasham, twelve. Exhale. Now, exhale, inhale. Exhale. You can free. Either in this, itself you can do like this to bring down the heart rate. So we were here, inhale, bring your knees down from upper plank, free your back, quick way of reducing the pulse. Either off dog or child pose. Ekam dvenam. Prenam chaturam panchamashadamam saptamam Pranapana samakrutva Then comes his Pradnya wisdom Wisdom. These are called Pancha Pandavas. Then come six, six qualities we already discussed. Shadgunas, Dhamma, Shama, etc. And then come seven. Seven is Saptama. So there are seven planes of consciousness. Whether you take Christianity, seven paradises or seven heavens or Bhur Mahajanatap Satyalok Our Patanjali says, Tasya Saptada Pranta Bhumi Pradnyaha Ashtanga Yoga, eight steps are not the end, they are only beginning. That is to attain seven levels of, seven planes of wisdom, seven levels of wisdom, seven planes of attainment towards the singularity. That's how it has to be understood. Now your pulse rate is normal for your shoulder. There's a long interval we have given, right? Short interval you can give for your shoulders from here. And now, so you can go into elbow plank, inhale, free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relaxing. How to relax? I'm showing you two in between the rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven drop it upavinyasa very important your both legs on the left and then drop them on the right one two One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your right knee down, your right forearm down. Raise your left foot, drop it on to the right side. Watch your left foot, either under arm, around your right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, exhale. Upasthetau janunam bhumau. Free your shoulders. Skandau chalanam. Chalanau grivam. Roll your neck between shoulders. Chalanau katim. Move your face like tiger back. Tiger seat. While tiger walks, you see it seat. The weight walks. Move your seat. Left, right, left, right. Free your shoulders. Inhale, raise your knees up. Move into down dog. Exhale, inhale, push your seat up. Drop your neck between your shoulders. Look down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fold your knees, walk into the front, jump into the front, free your shoulders, angustasanam, karishyami. Free your shoulders, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. 
यांस झातान तान उत्कटासनम करेशे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन इनहेल योर ट्रंक एक्सहेल ड्रॉप योर आर्म्स डाउन दैट्स अ वे टू रिलैक्स आप जात में करामा नाउ यू चेक योर पल्स रेट टोटली नॉर्मल यू डोंट हैव टू गिव सो मच टाइम आई हैव जस्ट गिवन इट फॉर योर रिकॉर्डिंग सो दैट एनी टाइम यू वांट टू रिलैक्स when you do endurance is very important when your heart rate increases how to calm down high interval is sometimes it is required especially when you go for maximum heart rate how to calm down how to cool down is very important that's a way to do it inhale exhale inhale exhale Swaha. This is Purusha Rasa for male testosterone. You can check the present today's testosterone. You get it diagnosed. Use it for 15 days, and two scoops you use morning one scoop, evening one scoop, or morning two scoops, evening two scoops, and evening balya poshaka plus combination of Purusha Rasa. You check your testosterone, your sexually born testosterone, how much it will increase. Testosterone is android signaling molecule which helps in the protein synthesis, which helps in boosting the metabolism, my dear. Not just for the sex, sir. It is a that's why it's called performance enhancer. Because brain performance, protein synthesis, everything linked. So even for the females, it is required. If you are using Tarnirasa, so this you should do alternate day. At least once, one scoop a female she should use for their actually healthy menstrual cycle. Tarnirasa every day, twice a day is a must. But this at least, if you have more problem hormonal issues, Tarnirasa female estrogen product three times a day. But this once in a two days. If you have excess hair production, etc., don't use it. But otherwise, you must use it. <clears throat> This is Purusha. For the males, it is nothing to be healthy to maintain their metabolism from childhood onward. The dead children don't have any testosterone. It's already over the story. That's why start giving the Purusha Rasa from the child children onwards and childhood onwards. And till you end, you need Purusha Rasa now. 